Well, hello everyone, it's Chris D here. I know it's been a really, really, really long time. So, I'm going to make up with, for it, with it, for it, whatever you want to say, with some really great videos, um, especially ones on skincare. The one that I'm doing today is all about acne which is a huge problem and every time I do an acne video I get a lot of uh, people emailing me about it and asking questions so I'm gonna get down to the nitty-gritty and this is mainly for people that have I would say ongoing acne issues whether they're whether it's bad or or you know like really intense or maybe not so intense but just constant which is what mine is like I don't have horrible acne it doesn't disfigure my face but it's always there and so I went to a derm the dermatologist I go get facials all the time once a month I get peels which I love so if you don't get peels it's very 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 amazing it does great things for your skin and I'll do another video specifically on peels because it's really I love peels I'm the king of peels honey I love doing them on people and I love doing them on myself. So anyway, um, doing peels is very helpful. However, he, the dermatologist also recommended some, some medications that you can't get over the counter. Number one, which I have talked about before, clindamycin. So um, this is 1%. It's a gel, comes in a metal tube and I love this stuff this really changed my skin more than any other over-the-counter whatever that you buy in a spa that you buy from an esthetician all of that stuff I've tried it I'm an esthetician I've used all of it and nothing works better than over-the-counter acne medications sorry but it's true even the the natural remedies I personally found do not work I have very active skin I'm not going to say they don't work. They don't work for my skin type. I need some really intense stuff and stuff that you can only get from a prescription. So clindamycin, 1%. It's, um, it is covered by insurance. It's uh, like $10 or whatever your copay is. And otherwise, it's $450. Which I'll go back to the benzoyl peroxide if I have to do that. So my insurance did pay for this because I'm not about to pay $450 for it. But it's a great product. It's, it's an um, antibiotic? Yeah, it's an antibiotic. Um, anyway, it has a few other things in it. It does not dry your skin out. It doesn't do the things that a retinol does, which a retinol is Retin-A. Um, and speaking of, this is another thing that I got prescribed. And I, I really do love this. It's uh, tretinoin. Uh, they gave me 0.05%. I believe I need 1% because this is actually doing a really good job. I just don't feel anything. And they were telling me this might be really intense and burn and redness and peeling. And look at my skin. It's oily still. <laughs> so um, I am going to get 1%. But tretinoin, this is a um, intensified vitamin A so it's really good at turning over the cells which means it's gonna unclog the pores it's really good for acne and it happens to be really good for fine lines and wrinkles as well now so we have your clindamycin and you have your tretinoin what if you don't want to do the two steps because you're just a, a lazy slob well I don't know if you can see this. This is a, you probably can't. Um, it's called Zyana. Let's see, maybe I can get this. That didn't work. Did <laughs> that didn't work on focusing. So anyway, Zyana, Z-I-A-N-A, -A, and I'll put the information down below. Um, this is a combination of tretinoin and of clindamycin. So it's a really good uh, two-in-one and this is not covered by insurance by the way because well actually let me correct that if you're according to my dermatologist if you're my age which is 43 
insurance won't pay for this because they say that it's for wrinkles and lines and not acne. So when they told me that because I was too damn old to get this on my insurance, I wasn't real happy to hear that. So anyway, that's a whole nother story. So um, anyway, Zyana, really good. And this is 1.2% um, clindamycin and 0.25% of tretinoin so it's a little less than the this tube and a little more than this tube so this is also very good by the way the clindamycin if you get ingrown hairs because it kills all the bacteria um, much like benzoyl peroxide does which I forgot to say if you use this alone the clindamycin it works a lot better when used with benzoyl peroxide now they of course have a combo where you know one product that has both in it I forget what it's called Clinda Clindacin I don't know um, anyway so if you're using clindamycin use it with benzoyl peroxide it'll work a lot better so these are some tried and true medications that you have to get from your dermatologist I swear by them I'm telling you they're really, really good, and I'm going to go to my dermatologist and get about 20 more of these since it's not covered by my insurance because I'm too old. It's depressing. So anyway, those are my recommenda recommendations, clindamycin, and then the tretinoin, 0.5% or 1%. And then if you want to not use the two and you want Zyana and you're young, then this will be covered by your insurance. And that's it. There we go. This is Chris D. And if you have any questions or requests or concerns or issues about your skin, I'm the guy to come to. Mwah.